Right, look what came in. Make sure you put your parking brake on. Um, I hope this came with bolts. I think that's them there. Got a bag. Instructions are inside. That's good. Scissors, much better. You need an 11 16 three quarter socket. Uh, obviously, a torque wrench and your ratchet. I love how they tell you that's the front and that's the rear. If you need to know that. Shit, it on. So this has got a trailer weight of 3,500 pounds and a tongue weight of 525. Um, and the weight distribution is 4,000 pounds. Seems pretty simple. We don't need instructions. Perfect. There's two smaller ones. So that's the smaller one. That's the thick one. That's the smaller one. As we're sitting here, guess what came on? The sprinklers. Another thing, make sure not to have your sprinklers on while you're underneath the vehicle. All right, so let's take a look under there. As you take this and coil, screw it right in just like the nut right there. So for the back one, we need the thinner bolt with the small washer. Reverse this one though. This one's a little different than the front one. Send the washer. Send the washer through. And then the bolt. Just get the washer over there. This one's being stubborn. There we go. Get the bolt over there. Now let's go repeat the other side. So we threaded both bolts. So we've got the this is the big one there, and this is the small one. The small one it goes towards the front of the vehicle, and the big thick one comes to the rear of the vehicle. The small washer goes with the long, thinner. The long spacer washer goes with the thick bolt. Remember, this is a reverse fish, so go ahead and put the spacer in there. So it should look like this. Put the bolt through, and then the long, Part. There we go. And that one's, that's how easy it is. Rectangle, almost like a square opening, and we're gonna go in this direction. So the washer goes first. There we go. And here comes the bolt. Whoever invented this little guide was a genius. Okay, anyways, I wanted to race the vehicle, so I put those under the tire so that I can do this, because if not, I would not be able to do this by myself. And so what I did is I put on my legs the actual hitch. All right, so we're gonna do one side first. Got one there. Hey, okay, that one's on. Okay. I'm putting pressure on this. Perfect. Put the leg there like I did on the other side. So at this point, we need to make sure that it's centered. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle, not very much. So before we tighten them, we want to make sure it's right dead on, okay? Because the last thing I want is a rack that's kind of like half cockeyed. Is that a word? Yeah. As you see there, we have the two bolts. Run right here, one in the back. The one in the back is the thin one. The one in the front is the thick one. The spacer on the back is the smaller, smaller spacer. The, here is the bigger one. And the last one. Gotta get some fitness in underneath. Okay, let's see how it turned out. So I just did this entire ending. 
and I wasn't rolling again. And with the selfie looking at me, so like that's, my wow, those hands are dirty, look at that. That was a dumb mistake. All right, so anyways, if you haven't yet subscribed, please click the link, uh, I'd really appreciate it. For those of you who already have, I, I see that the channel's growing, I really appreciate it, thank you very much. So another project, my mistakes, you learn from them, and we get through this. Till next time. We are done.